Hey everyone, it's Marcy from the Boston Athletic Club here in beautiful Cape Cod and I wanted to talk about racket strain. Um, and I wanted to go over um, a couple of the main areas of racket stringing, which is string type, which takes in string gauge, and also string tension. Because I get asked these things a lot while I'm teaching, and I think they're very important. It can really decide a match. It can decide on your performance. It's very important. So, let's start with string type. So there's the polyester string or the Kevlar, which more advanced players use. And they tend to string these maybe six to 10 pounds lower because it's a very stiff string and you have to have a really, really good racket speed to actually handle this type of string. So it, you know, more advanced players tend to use this. And the second type it falls in the category of multi-filament or natural gut. And we recommend that for lower level players that are anywhere from a beginner to a low intermediate that are looking for a softer feel on their arm, a more forgiving string. And those tend to be more mid-tension or a little above. And so, um, and then there's also another component to the string type, which is the gauge. And that's another thing that comes into play. And the gauges run from 15 to 19. 15 being the thickest and 19 being the thinnest. And if you get a thinner gauge, it's not going to last as long, but it gives you a little more spin to the ball, a little more um, bite. And then as you go thicker, you might get a little less feel, but you're going to get a higher durability in that string. So, and then it leads me to string tension. Um, so a lot of people think that the higher the tension, the more power, but it's actually the opposite. The lower the tension, the more power. And the higher the tension, the less power. So um, I usually like to go um, a little bit lower so it's a little easier on my arm for teaching all day, but um, you have to have a lot of control to handle the low tension, so I always recommend to the club player, you can't go wrong with a mid-tension. And then lastly, I just want to mention, I get asked this question about the frequency you should get your racket restrung. And so when it comes to frequency, there is a rule of thumb on that. Um, so I tell people, the number of times you play during the week is the number of times you will get your racket strung on a yearly basis. So if you play twice a week, you should get it strung twice a year. If you play five times a week, you'll be getting your racket strung five times a year. And um, hopefully some of those areas that I covered will um, serve you well. And that's it from Cape Cod.